call this order first bit order of business is to uh, thank our, our two volunteers who rescued us from the uh, from the tidal wave. Uh, so thank you too for uh, helping us out. All right. Um, item B, approval of minutes. Item A is the council meeting. Uh, discussion? Do we have a motion on that one? Is there any discussion? Do we have the corrected? Yes. Okay. Okay, so the, the corrected minutes. Uh, do I have a motion? I make a motion with approved. Do I have a second? I'll second. I'll second. Um, Vote. Thank you. Then uh, the special call meeting, uh, September 6th. Do I have a motion on that? Motion to approve the minutes for the special call meeting. Uh, excuse me. Uh, if there's discussion going on in the, uh, in the hall, uh, if you take it outside, that'd be great. Um, public hearing rezoning 342 Price Street from R1 to R2. Okay. Then it passed the kind of this. We're, 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 we're moving beyond. Uh, old business. Uh, proposed village rates. Oh, wait. We didn't vote on Oh, oh, I see. That's what she has. Okay. Uh, if, if I can have a vote on that, please. All right. Now, now the public hearing on the rezoning. Do we have any comments on the rezoning of 342 Price Street? Hmm? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Would sure. you like to say anything? Come up in front. Yeah, I have nothing further to add. Um, just that we've got all the vendors, um, the contractors ready to go. We've got the State Historic Preservation Office engaged, um, ready to support the project. So we're super excited about it. But so looking forward to it. Is everything it. working out for me with the codes and everything now you've got? Yes, we're prepared to comply with all the building regulations, codes, all that good stuff. So we're excited about you it. You want me to move that refrigerator right or stove from your front? Uh, you're welcome to have it. It okay. costs us more the more weight we have. So. <laughs> It'll be removed tomorrow. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, <clears throat> any uh, discussion with the group? No. Okay. Uh, can I have a motion, please? I make the motion we uh, accept. Uh, I make the motion we accept these all requests. Okay. Do I have a second? A second. There we go. Uh, all four. Okay. Thank you. Um, the second reading amendment of the open records officer. Why am I jumping? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, I, I need to show here desperately. Do you want to be? No, no, no. I, okay. Uh, Maya, if you would tell us what our, our, our current millage rate is and what the uh, proposed rate is. Um, 2017 mellage rate uh, was at 4.917, and for post 2018, it's going down to 4.355. However, the value, the property value, has gone up by about 10,000. So, calculating, it'll be about the same as last year. There was a lot of discussion uh, over the last couple of days on the ransom rates page. Uh, relating to property values and those types of things. And what they were talking about, all the people that were, quote, ranting were people that were outside of the city limits. Uh, there might be somebody who pays a little bit more, somebody who pays a little bit less, but overall, the, uh, it will balance out the same. So, um, what, what happens any comments? I just have one little thing. Uh, millage is mis 
spelled, and it looks like mileage. It's spelled mileage. I think millage is spelled M I L L A G. Okay. Do I have a uh, motion? I have a motion. I would vote, but set another try. Do I have a second? Uh, all four. Okay, second read amendment uh, to open records officer discussion. This is the, the ordinance that was proposed last month. Um, <coughs> as far as I know, we're going to vote to change the location of the reports and second open records officer to be the records of the rest of the police department and change the media to everything else. Specifics and particularities. In audits. Uh, it's not a, uh, yeah, are we, are we, Ms. Betty, are they talking about somebody that would, would head up the Christmas festival? Because you've been more out with it last festival. That was, that was discussed. Well, Thursday. let me say, well, uh, this is actually not, it's not ours. Uh, one Betty would be, is that correct? This is really the, the uh, business owners, they're doing this. And I will help them. Right. Will exactly. Them. But that's, that's what you was here for the discussion at the business meeting. And uh, they're going to move on. The, the business meeting uh, owners are going to do kind of their own thing uh, that, uh, at that point in time. And it's going to be some more things worked out about. It. So there will be more information next month. Um, next item is uh, meeting procedures. Thomas, would you discuss with us the... Oh, well, uh, I understand you all have copies. The, uh, the current version of 2207 of the city ordinance uh, provides for folks other than city council members to address council. Um, set the council <coughs> That's pretty much all it does. Uh, it provides some, some protocol about approach to the podium and give your name and all that kind of thing. Uh, at the request of the council, the uh, new provision um, imposes a few more restrictions but also makes a change with regard to how you sign up. And let me just run through what this will provide. It says if you're not a council, basically if you're not a council member, you're going to address the council. Other than during a public hearing, because of certain requirements regarding public hearings, such as alcohol licenses, so I mean, that type of thing, this would not necessarily apply to that. There will be a sign-in sheet on the podium there, and any time before the meeting starts, someone can sign in uh, to speak. Now, this is what I propose based on the way I've seen it in other, other places. We can sort of make changes. Only items on the agenda as amended are proper for comment. During the meeting, comments regarding any other matter should be out of order. Uh, comments regarding other matters may be provided in writing to the clerk who should distribute those written comments to Mary Council. Anyone who has signed up prior to the beginning of the meeting shall have the time stated on the agenda for public comments. Secure the permission of the presiding officer and stand at the front. Give her name and address as that was before and then address the city council as a body rather than any particular member. <coughs> Remarks by any one person are limited to two minutes. 
Public comment should be limited to 10 minutes total. Preference should be given to citizens who reside in or own property inside the city of Statham. In the event that more than five people sign up who reside in or own property in Statham, the presiding officer may allocate the time equally among them. Uh, again, that's not something that you all mentioned, but it's something that I've seen in other places. In other words, if you have seven people sign up, they're all Statham up, residents or owners, um, then basically they each get a minute quarter or something. If the whoever provides you, this is only first reading, so you all take a look at it. You all may want to look at procedures and other surrounding counties. Do you know, it's my understanding that Barrow does this. I know what County does this. You know, it's only items, agenda items that are uh, appropriate for public comment. Um, so it's before you consideration. I understand the the purpose of this. <clears throat> amending this ordinance to keep order in the meeting and to keep people from blurting out and keep uh, <clears throat> keep things moving uh, along as they should in a council meeting <clears throat> and on, on subject. Uh, but I have issues with the wording to the bottom third <clears throat> where it's limiting people to two minutes. That's not enough time. Uh, and should be preference to citizens that live inside the city. Um, and if more than people, more than five people sign up, we've got a, a hot topic. And <clears throat> these, the way this is worded, the time is not going to be enforceable. Nor has it ever been. We have people come up here every month that aren't residents that speak longer than two to five minutes. So I think if we just go and work together <clears throat> Maybe we could even lean on the ethics board. If, if it's formed in enough time, we could submit issues like this that we're doing to the ethics board and bounce it off of an ethics board and then get some feedback so we can vote on it next month. So <clears throat> that is if the ethics board forms up and <clears throat> does what it does. I think that would be a good thing for the city to start bouncing these amendments off the ethics board and see what they think and feel about what we're doing. So, Thomas, let me ask you this. Uh, <clears throat> if we got to the end of the 10 minutes and the shaker <clears throat> of the meeting uh, felt that it would be appropriate to have additional uh, discussion, would that be a possibility? Is there a way of doing that? Yeah, we just put some language in there that provides for that. Because your current uh, ordinance basically says that unless otherwise provided, Robert Tools Border um, Governor, and under Robert Tools Border, the chair can basically um, govern those types of, of decisions. Uh, because this is said in mandatory language, you would need to put something, you would need to have it along with basically authorizes the mayor to do it. Would you all be comfortable with that no, modification? Knows that the mayor would be able to extend if, if he or she chose to. If you would make that one. <clears throat> um, any additional discussion? Uh, can I have a motion, please? Let me tell you, I don't think the head of the board is completely informed yet. I'm not sure where they have had a chance to be. Remember that's supposed to be the third person yes. that they have to work on. And I don't think that has happened or I think they are here <coughs> when, when I, when I own that. No, not at all. Would the uh, members of the board stand please? Thank you very much for uh, uh please just please stand for just a uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, you had your major selection of your third person. I'm the third person, yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, when when you do make that third person, would you be willing to help or pitch in or? Yeah. It, isn't that a good idea to bounce some? We we can we discuss that. Yeah. I mean, we just kind of get some things <laughs> uh, Well, uh, I don't want to take okay. the uh, meeting. Uh, it's just a uh, first waiting the first. Okay. 
Uh, well, I'll make a motion to waive the first reading and then we need to do what corrections has been asked and, and discuss it again. And we did not discuss it with Thursday uh, or session meeting next month. Yes. That means we'll All right. Okay.